Hello and welcome everyone to oneaboutrainings.com. In this session on SAP Analytics Cloud, we will learn about concept of chart trellis. So chart trellis option is available since 2019 January release of SAP Analytics Cloud. It allows us to divide one chart into multiple subcharts so that you can compare the data across according to the dimension within those charts. As you can see on the right side, an example of a trellis where the total revenue, cost, and the profit loss is divided into multiple charts. These are based on different dimensions. So you can see here USA East and West, and then on the horizontal side, personal, hardware, and business, three different line of businesses. And this is what you have the distribution over different years for the revenue cost and profit loss. So let's go ahead and see a use case in the system. How can we have such a trellis created out of charts? Let me go back to the system and first as usual, we'll look at our data set. So I've got here the data set of all the Netflix series and movies. So on the Netflix, we have broadly two types of products which are being released right now as TV shows and movies with their names, artist name, the country, the date of release and the year of release, along with the duration. So all of this information is currently published as part of this data set. I will upload quickly this data set to SAP Analytics Cloud and will show you creating a trellis in terms of releases of different movies and TV shows breakups. So let me go back to SAP Analytics Cloud system and we can just quickly drag and drop as usual our data source on SAP Analytics Cloud. And now the system is acquiring the data to create an acquired data model of type analytics. For more details on SAP Analytics Cloud training, feel free to subscribe our courses on anubotrainings.com where we will learn all of these things from scratch, including BI, planning, designer and predictive capabilities, which is offered by SAC. So now you can see we've got the data. What I would also quickly do is little bit of data wrangling by dividing the duration into two parts. So let's do a quick transformation to split over based on space. And now what we receive here is a duration dimension. And we have got also the dimension for uh, the minutes. Yeah, so maybe now I can quickly go back. Also just cross check the data type. This should be here as a number. So we can just also change that. And now we are good to go and analyze the data. So what I will do is I will switch over to the story part. And this is where we can go ahead and add the story. So first of all, I will drag it on the left and on the right side responsive story page we will quickly create one pie chart which is showing the total number of shows versus um, versus movies which are published on Netflix so let's insert a chart and it's going to be a pie chart which will show you a measure so as you can see we don't have any numeric column as of now in the system so I'm also going to create a calculated column and this is where I'm going to do an aggregation of uh, counting my measures so count the number of items in my in my data set and I will name it as uh, records or you can say counts click on OK and now you can see counts will come up as a new measure in the system and I will add my dimension as my type of object it is so you can see here about 68 percent of um, them are movies and 31 percent of them are shows but that is overall in terms of till today whatever we whatever was published on netflix it's showcasing that so now our business requirement is to give a breakdown of this number of published movies and tv shows per year Usually you would do this analysis manually in the past, but now we have 
rallies available in SAP Analytics Cloud. So I will go ahead to the chart structure and try to add a trellis over here. Let's add a trellis and we will include here dimension for trellis as our release year. Select that and right now it will show you the overall for all the years. So you can see it's taking a little bit of time because we have huge amount of data. So let us go ahead and add a dimension over here as my year. So let me come down to the available dimensions and this time we will use time as a dimension called release year. And you should see now system is currently showing me the hierarchy of all the data for all the years but now it's possible for me to do a drill down. But since this is added as a trellis for my release year, the moment you achieve a drill down to level two, which is years in this case, you would see my single chart is now divided into multiple charts per year. And now you can see each of the chart is now uh, converted into so many small, small charts for you to quickly go ahead and do the comparisons. But my, now my requirement is to actually do the filtering on top of this data to just observe the pattern of last four years in terms of how many shows and movies have been published on Netflix for last four years. So let us go ahead and apply a filter. Now remember when you're using a trellis, you should not do the filtering here. In spite of that, you should go to the trellis filter. So let me apply a trellis filter. And there are different options to choose from. So I can go by filter by range and I can say get me for last four years. So just look back in last four year time data and just get me the result. And you can see the moment I press enter system automatically gets gets it for me for last four years. So now suppose next year when I open the report, it's also again going to get me uh, the last four year filter data. Let's click on OK. And voila, you can see it gets me 16, 17, 18, 19 last four year data and of course my current year data. So you can see over a period of time, uh, the number of movie, uh, number of TV shows are constantly increasing uh, and that's an incremental pattern. As you can see now we have about 76% of the content which is published on the Netflix is actually a TV shows as compared to the movies. So you can see this trend is very helpful for me as a multimedia company to identify what is the market moving towards. And I can, of course, accordingly plan my future roadmap for multimedia content, which I would produce as a producer or I would uh, consume as a consumer going forward on the Netflix. So with that, thank you so much for watching this session on Trellis. You want to know more about Trellis and SAP Analytics Cloud, feel free to subscribe our course on SAP Analytics Cloud. We will offer you the course with all the features of SAP Analytics Cloud all at one place. It's an all-in-one course which includes BI, planning, predictive as well as analytic designer including digital boardroom and administration capabilities. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next video.